Okay, the last lesson is pages 32 to 33 of page 1126. This is finding the axis of symmetry and the vertex when we have an equation in this form, okay? And um, <clears throat> there's three things we can tell just by inspecting or looking at this equation. First of all, we're looking to see if it's positive or negative out front here. In this case, we have a positive. If, it, if there's no negative, we can assume it's positive. If it's positive, we know it's going to open up. And I don't, in looking at it, I don't think they make a big deal out of that, but that's true. If we factored out a negative number, and again, this is a positive one, but if I had factored out a negative, <coughs> then I would, <coughs> the, uh, the graph would open down, okay? But there's two important things we'll look at. One is the axis of symmetry, which is this h value. So notice this says x minus h. This is the part that we are most interested in. What is the h value? <coughs> and if this is, you say, well, this is x minus 7, then that means the axis of symmetry is x equals positive 7. Okay? So it's the opposite of what this looks like. It's x minus this value. And so the x or the uh, axis of symmetry is this h value, which is positive 7. Notice over here we have x plus 2. You might be tempted to say, oh, I see, the axis of symmetry is 2. But that actually is not correct. It would be x equals negative 2. I should make that up. Right. It's the opposite of the sign here. Okay, so x minus, so you could think of this as rewriting this as x minus negative 2 in order to get x plus 2. <clears throat> so in this equation, x minus h, the h has to follow the negative sign. So in this case, x equals negative 2. That's the axis of symmetry. Now on that axis then, this number, the k value, gives you the uh, vertex. So this is kind of a weird one. On this axis of 7, so imagine uh, if I had a graph here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, here would be the axis of symmetry, okay? On this positive 7 axis, way down here at negative 58 would be the vertex, right? And then from there it opens up. But all we have to label is the address. We don't have to graph it, thankfully. So we would say 7, because that's the x value. And then negative 58 is the k value. If I come over here to this one that we did back on page 31, 32. Now I did change this and make this positive because I wanted you to see this axis as being a negative 2. So now the vertex, watch this, the x value is going to be on that axis, so the x value is going to stay negative 2. That's not going to change, so negative 2, and then we're going to use the positive 7 <coughs> as the k value. So we could say that the vertex has the address h k. Right? Take the k value. If this was negative, then that would be negative, just like this one here. If the k value works out to be positive, as happened here, then it's a positive value. The x value is always the same as the x axis, which we found by inspecting this. All right, they give you 10 more problems to solve. So you're going to get some more practice with what you were doing all on page 30 and 31, where you have to complete the square. And then you have to, once it's in this form, inspect it to find the axis of symmetry, and then take those two numbers, put them together, and that's the vertex. So they're looking for those two pieces of information drawn out of it. They don't give you much room, so you're definitely going to have to do this on separate paper and show your work. And then when you go back to check your work um, against the score key, you can see if you miss something. And because if you miss just even one little step, you know, one negative sign, or you forgot to distribute, like here, forgot to distribute the number outside the parentheses, and that throws that number off, you know, just one little thing. But if you show your work and you're neat, it should be very easy to check your work and go back and find where you made your mistake. 
And that takes us to the end of this pace. You are halfway through this course. Once you finish this pace and the pace test, you'll be ready to start 1127.